All right. Uh, first ever really fishing outdoor video on the channel. Uh, yeah. I guess let's get into it. Um, let's see what rod we gonna pick. Let's start out with you. Got a nice little Texas rig, curly tail, the bullet weight, and I think I'm gonna go with the mini rod. Hey. You get this thing, Walmart, for like a few bucks. Come over to the the fishing mobile. Stick you on there. Get a little tiny little chartreuse grub on that. Stick it in the mini rod holder. Right there. Hit her up with a little bit of bug spray. You know how it is. The new Hades on. Right in there. Got a couple Guggen baits we can use. Let's do this. What we got in here? Utilize refrigerant. Okay. Oh, let's go. in the Ford. She's in it. Let's go. seen me in an outdoor video something taken to mind all pretty much all of our bass in our pond are stunted so I mean I've caught a few unstunted ones I mean I caught one last week that was a uh, decent two-pounder caught him like right there and then the logs over there so just gonna try our luck just kind of see what what's on happening Alright, let's get to the first spot. Shall end. See if we can't get a bass to pick it up. We had one take it yesterday. I mean, heck, I've had them pick it up at my feet over here. My eyesight ain't completely failing on me. There might be a bass underneath that little, little uh, lumpy tree right there. Ooh, good cast, but I don't really want him on, on that little tree there. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah. down in the comments what kind of challenges. I mean, you've seen that little rod, big bait little rod, big fish little rod. I mean, just kind of see what people want. And I could probably deliver it. one. Are you serious? Get that back out there. I'm probably going to put a new worm on it just a little bit. 
you getting ate up. You getting bited on, which is good, but not good when there's no fish. <laughs> That was a horrible cast. What am I doing? If y'all want trap videos, I, I shoot trap. Um, I mean, I don't know how well they'd let me uh, recording on these bigger competitions, but you never know. You never know. I mean, if they let me record shooting a 25 out of 25 and trap, I'll stick this GoPro on my hat. Show you how it's done. I mean, I can record the trap over there. We got a trap machine and all that kind of crap. There we go fish on there we go nope might be a bluegill nope that's bass stunted guy large mouth oh well he's barely hooked yay Yay. Well, I guess that's that. Um, just kind of let it fix my lure. Hmm. Trying to catch a big bat. Main reason I'm trying to film a little bit, but. Come on, need one to absolutely stone it. Get it. Maybe I'll be able to catch a, a decent sized bluegill for, for y'all to show you how big they really are. Ain't too awfully sunny out here today. I mean, I doubt they're very deep. I mean, all the bass I've been catching so far today have been pretty shallow. So. I have a mosquito magnet. He had that. He ate it, but see, I ain't like those super flashy YouTubers that gets uh, gets them hook sets that are absolutely gigantic, and there ain't no need for that. You don't need them stupidly oversized hook sets. You just look like an idiot. Especially when you yank it out of that fish's mouth. You're like, oh no! How did I miss that fish? It's because you yanked the lure out of your mouth. Idiot. Just have light little hook sets like that. There. Fish on. You see? Oh, this snack. This guy might be decent. No, he's dinky. Dinky. Dinky bass. Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. You don't talk to me? No? Alright. Yeah. 
Ooh. Nice little Rapala scissors and pliers kit. Is perfect. For when you got these thick lip baths and you just can't, you're stubborn as all get out. Alright, nice. Dinky little guy. Get him back in the water now. Whee! Alright. Let's uh, get this back up. Alright. Back here. Oh. Hello, bass. Well, let's have that bass hit it. Come on. Oh yeah, slammed it. Hey, this this guy might be pretty. Yep, that's a that's a good bass right here. It's a good bass. Yep. Oh yeah. Let it out. Oh. Oh, that's a, oh. Whoa. He's huge. Come on, stay on, buddy. Stay on, bass. Stay on. Flip him up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, 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 bass. Good bass. Oh, and I got it on film, dude. And I got it on, dude. Good one for my pond, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this, ch oh, look at this chunky toe, dude. Let me get a couple pictures of this man. Hey, buddy, don't you be a little turd now. Get a couple pictures. Yeah, yeah. Absolute monster of a fish. Oh yeah, let me take a quick picture. Yeah. Oh, this is dumb. Come on. Get another picture. Yeah. A serious picture. <laughs> hey, up. Uh, there, flip. Dude. Okay. I ain't got my scale on me, but. I mean, good bass. I'm going to say. Pound, pound and a half. Awesome. Ugh, fish slime. <laughs> yeah, that is sweet. I'm telling you, man. These bass are getting bigger in my pond. We stock our pond with minnows every year. If you don't know, if you're ever, ever... On Paducah Ballard Line, ever, and you're going hunting, Ballard County, you got to stop by uh, Indian Hill Gas Station. Best sausage biscuits you will ever stick in your mouth. You will ever feast upon. And you can stop back for lunch, dude. It ain't your normal gas station food. And, 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 with these gas prices that are super high, like Cheech and Chong, uh... I mean, you can, they're not that bad there, actually. They're pretty, pretty low. I mean, gas is what, getting up to, what, $80 a gallon or something like that? Dude, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to do no propaganda crap, but I'm just saying Indian Hills, best gas station there is in the state of Kentucky. Guaranteed. Hmm. Okay, is it still working good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slam it. Yeah. 
This might be another decent guy. Secret spot right here. That log over there? Man, you smoke them. Smoke these bass. He might I think he's just a little stunted guy. He ain't that he ain't too awful big, but he ain't the smallest in here either. So <clears throat> If you do stupid flippy floppy crap, I'm gonna kill you. Not really, because you ain't stunted, but. No, they're all right, bass. See, this is like your, this is like the biggest stunted bass you're gonna get in my pond. So, not bad, honestly. Dude, I've hit the jackpot, man. Yeah, this spot's usually good, but it ain't usually like pulling bass out every cast type good. Especially that big one. That was a chunky guy. I mean, like, buddy. Oh, other fish. Here in probably about, oh, I don't know, five minutes, I'm going to switch the little rod, see if I can't catch some bluegill or something, just to get on camera and prove to the world that I have some Mondo bluegill. I mean, heck, I've, there we go, ah, oh, spit it. That worm's staying on good. It's went through what? Is it five now? Five bass? Four or five bass now. These zoom worms, that's what I'm using. Zoom, I think they're six inch or eight inch worms. Dude, so good. They're good for deep water, especially if you put them on Texas rig. Put that bullet weight on it. Probably got like a half ounce to yeah, half ounce half ounce bullet weight on there. Just smoking them. Smoking them. If I don't catch a bluegill on this next cast, I'm putting down bluegill rod. God, that was a perfect cast, dude. Come on, that should be a money, a money cast. Oh, yep. Oh. You just take it? Yep. No. Gosh, I mean, you can't set the hook with them, but like, okay, after that, there needs to be one more cast. One more cast. Oh, same spot. There we go. I got one. There we go. Stay on, buddy. Please be a bluegill. It's a bass, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's bluegill. Whoosh, good. Oh, not a bad one at all, buddy. Choked it. Absolutely choked it. Uh, actually, I think that might be a pumpkin seed. I mean, usually when there's bluegill in the pond and like versus a pumpkin seed, pumpkin seeds got like super bright orange on them versus uh. Like a normal bluegill only has like obviously the just kind of a oh crap we done this dude's got the the orange and the blue in it most time yeah look I can lip my bluegill I can lip my bluegill. Who else in the world can lip their bluegill? Yeah, me, right there. Belly flop. Oh, he had that. He ate it, but... See? I ain't like those super flashy YouTubers that gets uh, 
Get some hook sets that are absolutely gigantic and there ain't no need for that. You don't need them stupidly oversized hook sets. You just look like an idiot. Especially when you yank it out of that fish's mouth. You're like, oh no! How did I miss that fish? It's because you yanked the lure out of your mouth. Idiot. Just have light little hook sets like that. There. Fish on. You see? Oh, this snack. This guy might be decent. No, he's dinky. Dinky. Dinky bass. Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. You don't talk to me? No? Alright. Yeah. Ooh. Nice little Rapala scissors and pliers kit. Is perfect. For when you got these thick lip bass and you just can't stubborn as all get out all right nice dinky little guy get him back in the water now we all right My second to last cast. So if one hits it, this is it. I guess we'll hit up that little log over there for this is my last cast over here. Just eat one. Have one eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Right there. He doesn't feel very big. He feels dinky. Little tiny guy. I don't even see him. Oh, he's a bluegill. Yay! Looks like a hybrid. Yeah! Fat, chunky guy. Chunky McChunkerson, dude. That's what his nickname should be, buddy. Whew. Buddy, that worm is longer than you are. What are you doing? Well, you don't eat these big old worms, buddy. You shouldn't be eating these. I don't want to grab him there. I might break his jaw. I don't want to do that. There. Nope. I don't want to do that. There. That's the right spot. Whew. Oh, I don't want to do that. Whew. Making sure I'm. You can see it. There we go. I'm short, by the way, so that's why my shadow looks really small. For the last fish of the day, probably. Let him go real nice, like. Ooh. Here he goes. Bye, bye, little fish. All right. Well, if you enjoyed the video, you can either like or. You don't have to. You can subscribe. Again, you don't really have to. But, well, okay. Uh, I guess just put in the comments what you'd like to see, whether it be cowdy hunting or, or anything like that. Uh, more fishing, obviously. I mean, that's what I, what I do. Uh, duck hunting will obviously be back during duck season, deer season, some hunting then. I mean, I have videos up on some deer I've shot, and or a deer that I've shot, my biggest one, my 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, but yeah, I mean, some tanning videos, definitely might post some of those. Um, carp shooting, yeah, squirrel hunting, for sure. Yeah, oh, there's a rabbit. During rabbit season, I might go get, keeps eating our clover, keeps eating in our garden, so might have to go get him so uh yeah i guess uh see ya